Hey, what's up everyone? Acid Glow here. So an article posted on the website known as Collider just gave us a lot of information about David 8 that actually passes into the storyline of Alien Covenant. So this is what it says. So in Prometheus, we were introduced to the synthetic called David that could mimic human behavior. He was assigned to the Prometheus team to explore an unexplored moon. He was designed by the Whalen Corporation. During this mission, the crew uncovered a black goo substance with mutagenic properties. And due to his own ego and touch of envy, David started the course of what was later known as creating the alien, the perfect organism. During the events of Prometheus, David tested this black goo accelerant on one of his own crew members without their knowledge, purposely infecting him just to see the results. This later was transmitted sexually to Elizabeth Shaw, and she gave birth to the creature known as the Trilobite. This Trilobite creature then implanted an embryo inside the last engineer that was found on this moon. This resulted in the birth of the Deacon alien. Although not quite like a normal xenomorph, it has some striking similarities. So by the end of the movie, David was beheaded by this engineer and is then picked up by Shaw as they make their way to paradise aboard another derelict spacecraft. So what was David up to after this? During the last 10 years, David has been quite busy. Although his head was ripped off his body in Prometheus, we will see his disembodied head, but he will also get his body back. So when David and Shaw land on the engineer planet called Paradise, it is unknown how long Shaw lasted here, but David has remained here for the past 10 years. This planet is then littered with bodies of dead engineers. Now at this point, David has gone through a major change in his own human characteristics. Since he's gone through about 10 years without any maintenance, his human qualities have gathered momentum and seem to control his motives and goals. Now some concept art was shown about David building himself a lab, and we even see some engineer and facehugger specimens. During this time, David tends to think about how the engineers created humans, and humans created synthetics. He sees the creation of life and nature as a form of art. As humans leave behind a history of their own life, David begins to wonder, what legacy can he leave behind? It's at this point where David has lost interest in humanity and has moved on from small beginnings to bigger things. He's now taken up a new home located inside the engineer's temple called the Hall of Heads. This is a sacred place where the engineers store the information. Now they mention that not everything during this 10 year gap is explained about David, but with all this information coming out, it does hint that his fascination of creating life in Prometheus was then explored in Alien Covenant. Now because of these traits that David was programmed with, it proved to not be so useful on some missions. Human qualities like ego, vanity, and pride were not so successful in the lives of the crew. Future models of David were then redesigned and programmed to be more straightforward and logical. This model was then called Walter. Now apparently, these two characters will meet and interact in Alien Covenant. Catherine Watterson even went on to say that the part about these two robots is really cool and is one of the big highlights of the film. So with that information, it seems to sum up the theory that David has been experimenting with a black goo substance for the past 10 years while creating different life forms. So what do you think of this idea? Do you like the idea of David possibly being a villain in this movie? Put your thoughts in the comment section. If you want to see more videos around the Alien and Predator universe, subscribe to the channel as I'll be covering more topics around them in the future. Thanks for watching, my name is Acid Glow, and I'll see you in the next video.